Welcome to the screencast on place value mats for addition and subtraction for second grade. I'll start this demonstration with the addition problem 23 plus 55, which does not require any regrouping within our place value groups. The first thing I need to do is lay down place value chips for my add ends. For 23, I will lay down two tens disks and three ones disks. For 55, I will lay down five tens disks and five ones disks. Now I can go ahead and total my chips in each place value column. I have seven tens disks and eight ones disks. So 23 plus 55 equals 78. Let's look at a similar problem, 76 plus 21. We must first lay down our place value chips to represent each add end. How many tens disks do I need for 76? That's right, seven. How many ones disks? Yes, six. How about 21? I need two tens disks and one ones disk. We're ready to total our place value columns now. How many tens and ones do we have? That's right, we have nine tens and seven ones. So 76 plus 21 equals 97. The last two problems were pretty easy because we didn't have to do any regrouping. Now we'll work a couple problems which do require us to regroup. The first problem is 37 plus 24. We will first lay down place value disks to represent our add ends. So let's put down three tens disks and seven ones disks for 37 and two tens disks and four ones disks for 24. Now, do you see that we have more than 10 ones disks? We need to regroup 10 of our ones into a tens disk so that we have nine or fewer ones disks. Let's take this group of 10 here and trade them for a tens disk. Now we can go ahead and add our place value columns. We have six tens and one one, so 37 plus 24 equals 61. Our next problem is 19 plus 56. Again, we'll start by laying down place value disks to represent our add ends. How many tens and ones disks do we need for 19? What about 56? Can you see what we need to do next? We need to trade some of our ones disks for a tens disk, don't we? Let's swap out these 10 ones disks for a tens disk. Are we ready to total our place value columns? Yes, we are. We have seven tens and five ones left. So 19 plus 56 equals 75. We are finished with addition now and ready to move on to subtraction. We'll start with easy problems which don't require regrouping. The first problem is 96 minus 43. Subtraction is different than addition on the place value mat because we just lay down place value disks for the menu end, the number we are subtracting from. In this case, our menu end is 96, so we will put down nine tens disks and six ones disks. Now we are ready to subtract our subtrahend, which is 46. So I will cross out four tens disks and three ones disks. What are we left with? That's right, five tens disks and three ones disks. 96 minus 43 equals 53. This next problem is similar to the one we just did, 65 minus 21. Again, we will lay down place value disks for our menu end. For 65, we need six tens disks and five ones disks. How many tens disks and ones disks will we cross out for our sub subtrahend of 21? That's right, two tens disks and one ones disk for 21. What do we have left? Yes, four tens disks, and four ones disks. So 65 minus 21 equals 44. Now that we've worked through some easy subtraction problems, we can move on to subtraction with regrouping. Our first problem is 100 minus 52. Just like before, we want to put down our menu end. In this case, it's pretty easy because our menu end is 100, so we can just put down 100's disk. We do have a little problem though. We need to be able to subtract five tens disks and two ones disks, but we don't have any tens or ones to subtract from. That means we have to regroup. Let's start by trading our hundreds disk for ten tens disks. We still need some ones disks though, so now let's trade one of our tens disks for ten ones disks. 
Now we're ready to subtract our subtrahend of 52. We need to subtract five tens and two ones. So we are left with four tens and eight ones. 100 minus 52 equals 48. This is our last problem, 73 minus 46. Again, we start by laying down disks to represent our menu end of 73. So we'll put down seven tens disks and three ones disks. Do we have enough tens in our menu end of 73 to subtract four of them? Yes, we do. What about ones? No, we don't. We have three ones disks and we need to subtract six of them. So we need to regroup one of our tens into 10 ones. Now we can subtract our subtrahend so we'll cross out four tens and six ones. We have two tens and seven ones remaining, so 73 minus 46 equals 27. This concludes our screencast on using place value mats for addition and subtraction. Please be sure to tune in for other Singapore math topics. If you would like to see us make tutorials for specific problem solutions, please feel free to submit a request. Simply send an email with a description of the problem or a picture to one of our math specialists listed on the screen. I hope you found this video helpful and you are starting to see that Singapore math is just plain good math. Thank you for taking the time to watch.